Hey, it's Ben Bates with Advanced Basement Systems, and today we're going to be looking at a proactive maintenance with Joel. And this is a house we did some work in a few years ago, and he's going to be taking us through a few different products. So I'm going to let Joel take it away, and I will see you at the end of the video. So it gives me an idea of where this wall is. You can see that the wall is actually touching here. See, I can get my fingers behind this. So you can see that's a bowed wall. has a washable filter in it, which I'll get the customer to wash because there's no sink down here. And it also gives you a reminder in the screen for the customer itself, it says clean filter. And this will come up every six months to remind the customer to wash out the filter. Um, very easy to reset it. You know, some customers know how to do it, some don't. And then, this will do a self-diagnostics, so all I have to do is get it into a test mode. There you go. It's going to do its own test, which is about uh, three minutes long. And it'll tell me if there's a code in it or not. So basically things that I'm after would be the water watch. So I want to check these pins, because these are very important pins. So what these pins do is if the water rises, say you had a pump failure, it's going to sound an actual alarm. It sounds just like that. Right? So I want to make sure those are clean. I'm going to change the battery in this. So I come with a little service package. There's a couple zip ties. Comes with two service stickers. Comes with a waterproofing sticker. Also comes with a check valve and a new 9 volt battery. I want to test it, make sure it works. Right, so I can see that it works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it. So we put a rubber mechanical on here just for us basically to make it easier for us to service. So all the production guys will put this on. Nice little handle on the pump. This is an M53 pump. Okay, so this is rated at 43 gallons a minute. Because that's where that check valve is. That new check valve I showed you, that's where that goes. So we always replace them during service. Pull that off. And then what I like to do is I get this flipped on its side, then I can actually see the impellers. So there's some impellers in here, so I can cut this off, check all the impellers inside, make sure there's no debris or anything caught in it. Now I did find an issue with this pump right off the hop. When I flipped it over, there's an actual another air breathe hole here to prevent air lock. You see, it's completely actually rusted over. Oh. So that's where this little fancy little tool comes in handy. I can free that hole back up. 
right? So those are things that I'm after in a service. So what I'm looking for is any debris, stone, or anything that's caught in there because I don't, I don't want it to fail, right? Um, I can also take this all off and actually get into it. If I ever have to get in there and take whatever's stuck in there. So also check things like this too to make sure there's no build up or any debris caught in there because that is the drain for this. So once I get this all back together I'll show you I take off another piece as well. So I want to make sure that this wire is not caught on the pump. So I like to lift it up. Make sure it doesn't get caught on the float. And then I can wrap this all back up. goes right back in there so you can see how that works for the water watch so it gives you like a six inch warning that you're about to flood that's what that thing does and it's very loud when it goes off because I actually pull this apart so this is a floor drain and it's got a ball in there and I'll, just, I'll show you why I take it apart to take this one apart just because and we're pretty much done so as you can see Joel goes through so many different things even more that we didn't get on camera and you know we have so many people out of our geez 10,000 customers that take advantage of the proactive service um, and you know, the whole idea with this is to, f I know it sounds cliche, but to find problems before they find you. And you know, with the waterproofing, uh, like the interior drainage, and you can see our power brace systems there that uh, are stopping that bowed wall from coming in any further, you know, those are pretty much good. Uh, in, in rare cases, you know, we, we have uh, something that needs to be looked at, but the sump pump is so important. As you can see, as Joel showed you, there's so many different things that we go through. So this is an annual or a biannual uh, service that you can have done. You can have it every three years, every four years. It doesn't void your warranty if you don't have it. But again, the idea is to find these problems before they find you. And you know, the lifespan of a sump pump is eight, nine, sometimes 10 years, um, and you know, sometimes a lot less. Uh, and we wanna be able to ensure that you don't find out that your sump pump is dead because your basement floods. So we love our service department. We think it's a great added value service uh, for our customers. And if you wanna know more about the proactive service, the cost, um, depending on the equipment you have, you can call our office, you can speak with our service coordinator, and she can tell you all about that. So thank you again so much for watching. If you have any uh, more questions about what you saw in this video in terms of products, feel free to jump over to our website. There's a link in the bio. And uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.